Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the second part of the chapter drainage. In the first part, we have discussed the evolution of river system. Here we are going to discuss the different river system of India, Himalayan rivers and the peninsular rivers. Under Himalayan rivers, we have like rivers like uh, Indus, River Ganga and River Brahmaputra and under peninsular rivers we have east flowing rivers and west flowing rivers. First we will start with the Himalayan rivers. So River Indus. River Indus comprises of River Indus and its five main tributaries. River Indus as you can see in the diagram here in the figure it originates in the uh, Lake Mansarovar in Tibet and flows towards the northwest direction enters India in the Kailash Range creating a deep gorge comes out from the Atok Hills in Pakistan and flows towards the south and finally drains into the Arabian Sea. Now the length of river Indus is 2900 km and it has a catchment area of 11,65,000 square kilometer. Now what is a catchment area? Now catchment area as shown in the figure, it is an area from where the water, uh, sorry, river derives its water from. So in India, it is around, uh, the catchment area is around 3,21,000 square kilometer. However, India is only allowed to use 20% of the total discharge of water. According to the treaty signed with Pakistan, which is the Indus Water Treaty. So, there are many tributaries of River Indus. The five main tributaries are Jhelum, Chana, Ravi, Bees, and Sadlaj. The next drainage system is River Ganga. River Ganga originates in the Galwar Hills of Uttar, uh, Uttara, Uttarakhand and it around the altitude of 6600 meters. It acquires its names from two heady streams, Alaknanda and Bhagirathi, which joins at Deva Prayag. Now, as I said, it originates in the Gangotri Glacier in the Galwar Himalayas, turns towards the south and comes out from the hills of Haridwar, enters the plains of Uttar Pradesh, then drains into Bihar and into West Bengal. In West Bengal, the river Ganga divides in two. Hooghly River and Padma River. Padma enters River, uh, Padma enters uh, Bangladesh, and before River Ganga drains into Bay of Bengal, it joins River Brahmaputra, creating the largest delta in the world. Ganga has the largest basin in Indian subcontinent, around 8,61,404 square kilometer. Now, what is River Basin? River Basin is an area covered by the water, river and its tributaries. So, River Ganga has around 8,61,404 square kilometer in India. So, when we talk about the tributaries, uh, River Ganga has numerous tributaries as you see in the map. The main important tributary is River Yamuna. River Yamuna joins River Ganga on the bank, on the right bank and near the city Allahabad. Now, similarly, uh, there are Many other tributaries which joins River Ganga on its left and on its right. So here are the list of the rivers which joins River Ganga. Next is Brahmaputra drainage system. River Brahmaputra originates in the Chema Yang Dung Glacier near Mansarovar Lake. And River Brahmaputra flows towards the east direction from its source parallel to the Himalayas under the name Yarlang. Sangpu and Yalang Sangpu in China covers a length of 1250 km. After that, in Namcha Barwa, it takes a sharp bend towards the south and flows in India, starts flowing in India up to the place Dhubri in Assam. After that, it enters Bangladesh. Then, here it joins with River Meghna, creating the largest delta in the world. River Brahmaputra is an example of antecedent drainage. Antecedent drainage means the uh, ancient rivers or the rivers were already existed before the upliftment of the mountains. So it means that River Brahmaputra was already present before the formation of Himalayas. It has a total length of 2900 km and uh, it has uh, 
many uh, tributaries on its right and its in left bank some of the important tributaries are river tista river dihang uh, river dhansiri river saban uh, siri etc and river brahmaputra has the larger uh, quantity of water uh, brought down by its tributaries also so during the rainy season the volume of water is very high and it cause frequent floods so with this we come to the end of the himalayan river system the next topic is the peninsula river which is the topic for our next video so if you like the video then please share and like this video then subscribe my channel thank you for watching